there, I'm Amy, and one of my favorite ways to healthy meal prep is to cook up some hard-boiled eggs at the beginning of the week. But because I know that we are both busy, I'm here today to find out which method is the fastest way to hard-boil eggs. So I have two different methods I'm going to be testing. The first is my favorite, the stovetop method, and I'll share with you all the details of how I make great hard-boiled eggs on stovetop. And the second is fan favorite instant pot hard-boiled eggs. If you don't have an instant pot yet, or you're not in the Facebook instant pot group of a million plus users, you might not know that instant pot users are crazy about using their instant pot for basically anything and everything possible. Go into the forum and you will find thousands of people raving about the 555 Instant Pot Egg Method. What I want to know is which one's faster and then we're going to peel up some hard boiled eggs at the end and find out which ones peel better as well. Let's get started. So over here we have the stovetop method. In my pot I have filled with just enough water to cover and I'm going to put three eggs into each of these and we're going to test it out. I'm grabbing my phone because I want this test to be fair. Uh, in terms of timing. Okay, so for the stovetop eggs, I'm going to start the timer as soon as I start heating up the water. I've poured enough water to cover in. The way I do my eggs on the stovetop is bring the water to a boil, place the eggs in using a slotted spoon, let them hard boil for 10 to 12 minutes depending how hard you like them to be, and then remove them to an ice bath. So I'm starting my timer because that one's started. Uh, in the instant pot, the way that people love to do it is the 555 method. So the first piece is to add one cup of water and then you can either put a steamer basket or I'm using the little trivet that comes with the instant pot today and for this one you put the eggs straight in again I'm doing three eggs in each of them and then I'm going to place the lid on and I'm just going to get ready to set the timer on this too so the lid goes on you want to set it to sealing make sure it's all locked and then we're going to set it to manual pressure for five minutes so the 555 and the 555 method stands for five minutes under pressure, but it of course takes time to come to pressure. And then, um, and then five minutes before you do a quick release. So five minutes coming down from pressure and then five minutes in an ice bath, which is kind of arbitrary and we won't time that part, I don't think. So I'm just starting this timer. The third. This stopwatch. And now we'll see what happens next. So it's been seven minutes and 51 seconds. My water is boiling. I should say I have like a stronger stove, I think, than many. So it may take you slightly longer, but that means it's time to drop our eggs in. Now one of the keys is to not let your water be boiling too, too high. So I'm gonna lower it to like a rolling boil. And then to use a slotted spoon to drop your eggs in so that you aren't cracking them as they go in. And I, I'm doing this one-handed, which is part of the reason I care about the fastest way to hard boil eggs is people like this guy in my life who's so cute and not so helpful in the kitchen. And I'm just gently dropping the three eggs that we're gonna hard boil in. I feel like this is like a carnival game right now. Can I balance this and hold a baby safely near hot equipment? Let's not lose. Okay, here goes the third. And then I'm going to set a timer on these, we'll call it 11 minutes today, and you can see what that looks like. Alexa, set a timer for 11 minutes. 11 minutes, starting now. Meanwhile, on the Instant Pot, let's check that out. It has come to pressure and it's counting down from the five minutes, so it's a race to the finish. We'll see who wins. Okay, it has been almost exactly 17 minutes on the Instant Pot side. We put it under pressure for five minutes and now it's been five minutes before we quick release. My pin is actually already down after that five minutes, so I'm just going to open it up. Unlock. Place this aside. So these three eggs I'm removing to an already prepared ice bath. So I do an ice bath on any hard boiled egg that I make because I find that cooling the eggs down quickly helps them peel a lot more easily. But in this test, we also want to see if there's a difference between the Instant Pot, the way that the Instant Pot eggs peel, and the way that the stovetop eggs peel. So I'm putting these ones over here closest to the mint. Move my Instant Pot out of the way. 
And then let's see how much time is left on here. So our stovetop eggs still have 30 seconds left. We're at the 1930 mark, so it's gonna be at about 20 minutes for the stovetop eggs, which if you're counting at home is three minutes more than the Instant Pot eggs took. As soon as my timer goes off, I'm going to stop my timer, remove the soaked up eggs to an ice bath as well, let them both sit for five minutes, and then we're going to see which one peels more easily. These are coming off the stove top. I'll be back in five minutes and we'll check out the eggs. All right, both the Instant Pot eggs and the stovetop eggs have now had five minutes each in their ice bath, a key component to peeling the eggs well. I wasn't planning to have a helper, but I'm gonna try and peel one egg from each batch with him in tow, and we'll see which one peels more easily, and then I'll show you some photos of the inside so you can see how they cooked up as well. So this is our Instant Pot batch. Remember, there were three in each. I'm gonna give it the one hand test. My dog is perking up because she hears hard boiled eggs. So what I like to do with hard boiled eggs is just give them a good smash and then a roll. And bring this closer. All of you parents will recognize this one handed move. And then if you can kind of like get the, um, I call it the membrane. I don't know that that's the technical name. The membrane to come up a little bit, then you should have a pretty easy peel. This is a nice, easy peel from the Instant Pot egg, I must say. I can see why people love that steaming method. And remember, this took three minutes less than the stovetop egg. So not super significant, but not insignificant either. Almost, I can't do the math. Three minutes less out of 20. That's some percentage. You figure it out. Okay, nice and round. I'm not sure how much you can see it. Do you think this looks good? You think it looks good enough to eat, yeah. All right, and these, are the stovetop batch. Same method, I'm trying to be even here. You guys, I'm sort of biased toward the stovetop method and I have to admit that I think, well, this one's peeling really easily as well. I'm telling you, the ice bath, if you're not already doing ice baths, is super helpful. Now the skin, the peel came off really easily, but I do have a crack in this egg and that might just be from a little bit more shaking that happens in the stove top method because of the boiling. Still really nice peeling. I didn't really get a lot of the like white part coming off with the peel. Now we're gonna cut in. So what I'm looking for when I hard boiled an egg is just barely cooked all the way through. That's my preference, the five five, <laughs> you want to taste it? Okay. That's my preference. The 555 will give you that. These are that. <laughs> okay, let me cut you a piece. These are that. My taste tester wants one. Just barely cooked through. Okay. Just barely cooked through and um, no gray around the yellow yolk. As I've explained to my mom countless times, the gray means that you've overcooked it. So. You don't want to go so far that you're overcooking. I do know some people do six minutes under pressure in the Instant Pot if you prefer a little more cooked. But honestly, these are cooked all the way through and I'll, I'll put in some photos so that you can see. And then let's check. This is the stovetop version. So this one went for 11 minutes. This is slightly less done, which might be a deal breaker for some folks. And honestly, it means that even with shorter amount of total cooking time, 17 mi minutes versus 20, the Instant Pot eggs did cook further and still had a great like firm, not overcooked center and peeled really well. You're tasting this one too. Which one do you like better? Oh, I think he likes the Instant Pot one better. I'm gonna have to say, I think if your determination is which cooks faster, I'm gonna have to give this one to the Instant Pot. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in reading more, you can check me out on cookingwithfullplate.com or check out my other YouTube videos. Mmm.